What's up everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing The Expanse Episode 1. And there's a pretty big elephant in the room. So let's talk about that first. And then we'll get into the rest of the game. And it's the length. You know, it's what I lead with here in the title. And I do think it is, by a mile, the game's biggest problem. I was caught by complete surprise, at least mostly. What I actually did, and this actually scares me going forward for The Expanse, is I was trying to find, okay, well, did any of these reviewers, right they got to play the game early did anybody say the length of any of these episodes and i can't find any specific length i didn't see any reviewer give a length however there was one review where they played the first three episodes and they said how there's several several of those three episodes are around 30 minutes length and now this episode took me exactly 54 minutes to beat uh, i didn't rush it i tried to engage with as many side things as i could listen to the full dialogue that characters would say to each other before going and clicking on something else. So I would say, you know, I didn't do everything. So maybe you could stretch this thing to an hour, an hour, 10 minutes, but you could also very easily, I think, lessen it to probably, yeah, 30 minutes. If you don't care about looking at like a data pack on like the side of a wall or, you know, all these random things, if you don't care about that, you're probably looking at like 30 minutes. And so to me, that is extremely short. That's way too short. That hurts my kind of connection with the game because it's like, well, how are you going to establish these characters if these episodes are 30, 40, 50 minutes long? And again, why I'm spending so much time talking about it, it is a massive issue. 54 minutes took me to beat this episode. And if the rest of the episodes are similar length, you know, this game also costs $40. So $40 for 45 minutes an episode, that's probably half uh, of what Telltale normally does. These episodic games are normally around two hours length. I saw some people online saying, well, all their episodes are an hour. I don't know what Telltale game or Don't Nod game you've played before. However, the ones I've played before, which is all of them, they are pretty lengthy. An hour and a half would be considered short for many of their episodic games. Sometimes they go two, two and a half, even three hours, depending on which franchise we're talking about. So I wanted to start there huge negative i've seen online too it's not just me a lot of people are really disappointed in the length in terms of the game itself pretty darn good pretty darn solid um now as i've said before kind of leading into this i don't have a clue about the expanse i've never watched the show i might watch it like after the game but i've never watched it uh, you know before jumping into it all these characters are brand new to me the world you know the, i guess the universe let's say they are in outer space right now so everything there is brand new to me and i'm kind of just trying to soak it all in take in all this kind of background lore and i know some of these characters including the main character of drummer right she's in the show that's cool. But, you know, because I don't really know the kind of character that she is, I'm kind of playing it like just off the seat of my pants where I have no idea what she would do in a situation, right? So would she be aggressive with somebody? Like early on, I punched one of the crewmates in the face because I was trying to like assert my dominance as like their commander. I don't know if that's something she would do, but it felt like it felt right in that moment. And that's cool. Like I actually really, really like that about the game. So I would say characters pretty darn solid, pretty solid supporting cast. Um, obviously, they don't get enough room to breathe because there's very little game here to actually experience, but with Drummer, and I would say with Cox, you get quite a bit uh, with them, so I'm excited to see, you know, going forward with that. The decision making, you know, one of the reviews, actually the same review that I saw that talked about, like, the length of time, they talked about, like, decisions not mattering. Now, again, they've played three episodes. We've only played one, so maybe they're right. Maybe decisions don't kind of come back, but for when I played, I felt like decisions had consequences, even again, early on punching the one character in the face. And then later on in the same episode there, they said to you when you have to have like, everybody's got to decide w which side they're on uh, the Alliance they're choosing. And they said like, you are pretty harsh with your you know crew. And it's like, Oh shoot. I wonder they probably wouldn't have said that if I didn't punch them in the face. Right. So, I mean, you're seeing small things kind of come around right now. Obviously you got to wait, you know, a few episodes I imagine in to see the larger picture but like that I like the visuals the visuals I think are fantastic it's definitely a mesh between uh realistic and then like the classic telltale style to me that's fine I like how it all looks combined together the mystery of it so I mean this is a pro and con because it's it's actually almost a, an applauding moment they got me hooked even if it was such a short time right the first like 30 minutes is just kind of set up 
setting up the characters, setting up the location, setting up what they're doing. And in the last 20 or so minutes, a couple big decisions, big things happen, and then it's pushing you forward to directly to what you're going to be doing in episode two. I have to say that in such a short time that this game was happening, they actually accomplished quite a bit. And, and in that short time, they made me care about those individual aspects. I care about what the crew is up to. I care about the, the main character of Drummer. I care about what Cox did without spoiling it too much. And I care about, you know, again, where it's going for episode two, because it kind of seems intriguing to me. So Definitely up and down overall. I think they they did it. Like it was it was a fine episode. I wouldn't say it was spectacular or anything. I think it was pretty solid in what they did. I think the decisions were pretty okay in what they did. I'm just honestly completely shocked in the lane. So I'm excited for episode two. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed, bell icon turned on. I'll be reviewing all the episodes as we go through them. And I hope to see you all on the next one.